so much for tuning in today i'm filming my last tutorial for the lace frontal wig series which is how to remove your lace frontal wig i know it's been a while since i've uploaded a video or it's taken me quite a while to wrap up this series but i've just been going through the most health wise it isn't flu it's muscle ache um it's just been one thing after the other it's been a bit hard for me to film but i'm trying to um you know still do a video or two despite that and I really hope you guys please 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 bear with me and be patient with me um, I would really appreciate it anyways so this tutorial is very short but it's quite easy to remove the lace frontal wig if you've used the um, gel glue um, so it will be a super quick tutorial and if you're interested in seeing how I do that please keep watching okay so what you'll need to remove your lace frontal wig after you've done the whole glue thing is water so I put some water in this um, bowl just a cloth like the one I have here and you just basically just want to wet it a little bit make sure it's damp the thing about this glue gels are that they come up with water so that makes it super easy to remove but that also means that um, you have a bit of a problem if you come into contact with like let's say rain or sweat while you're wearing your wig it tends to lift up so it becomes a bit of high maintenance um, depending on the weather wherever you live but yeah the whole water thing does make it quite easy to remove and i guess it saves your edges to some extent you pretty much just start dabbing and wiping off all of the glue And then just keep checking if it's lifting. And once it starts lifting, you want to get under the lace just to make sure that you um, wiping off excess glue that might be on your edges before you pull and ideally you want to do this without a full face of makeup but I had to film so I had to do the whole makeup thing. Depending on how much glue you've used, you might um, need more water, but I haven't used too much glue because I have the elastic band which really helps to keep the wig secure. So my, the purpose of the glue for me is really just to make sure the wig isn't lifting during the day. It becomes a bit easy to remove. There you have it. Easy peasy. I haven't used um, a stocking cap. Couldn't find one. It's funny, I can never find my stock stocking caps. It's so annoying. Um, but yeah, ideally you also want to wear a stocking cap just to make sure that your cotton looks nice and natural. So you might end up having some glue 
glue on the lace like that. The more you do this, the more the glue rolls up on the lace. It can become a bit messy and make it very hard for you to glue down your lace. So you just want to make sure that when you remove it, either wash your wig or if you don't have time, just use the same wet cloth and just do this to remove the wig every time, sorry, to remove the glue, the gel, every time you remove the wig. And that will really prevent any buildup of, of, yeah, product. Yeah guys, and this pretty much wraps up my Lace Frontal Wig series. I hope you guys enjoyed all of the videos in this series. If you haven't seen all of them, I put the link in the description box below for you guys. If you have any comments or statements or anything you think I might have left out during this series, please leave them in the comment box below. I'd be very happy to learn from you guys. And yeah, keep watching and share this video, subscribe, like, comment, everything. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.